Now at noon, a 12 News exclusive, the only local reporter to talk to the lawyer for a former New England Patriot, Malcolm Butler, this morning following a DUI charge was Erica Ritchie. She's just back from the traffic court where Butler did not appear. Erica. It was his attorney that was there on his behalf this morning, and that's where I caught up with him after Butler's traffic court arraignment. Talk to me about Mr. Butler's demeanor. What's his attitude? What's he saying? Well, he, he's not saying much. I mean, he's uh, waiting to see where see where all the evidence lands. Uh, I, I can say this. I met him for the first time the other day, and uh, he's truly a nice young man. And uh, I, upon talking to him, I, I learned he does a lot for the community and a lot for the youth of, uh, of, of the country, for that matter, wherever he travels. So I was very impressed with him. So we're waiting. We're sitting back to see what the evidence will say. Malcolm Butler pleading not guilty to a DUI charge, both at his district court arraignment yesterday where this video was shot and through his attorney at the traffic tribunal this morning where cameras were not allowed. That attorney, former Rhode Island House Speaker John Harwood, will now begin the process of reviewing evidence provided by North Providence Police. According to what we've seen in their report, the former Patriots cornerback was arrested on March 16th after officers say they saw a white Mercedes stopped in the westbound lane of Mineral Spring Avenue. Butler in the driver's seat, smelling like alcohol with slurred speech and bloodshot eyes. He reportedly told officers to, quote, just take me to jail. I asked Harwood about that. I'll wait uh, to review all of the evidence and uh, take a look at any and all statements that Mr. Butler made. And in court this morning, the judge suspended Butler's license in Rhode Island, effective at midnight tonight. That does not exclude him, by the way, from driving outside of the state. Butler is due back in district and traffic court end of April, beginning of May. In studio, Erica Ritchie, 12 News.